Right, well I'm still in the thick of it with BSA A65 engines here. I've got one completed and ready to go home. I've got this, the bottom end of this one to put together, including pistons and cylinder barrels. The gearbox is empty and the owner's going to deal with that and the primary drive and the cylinder head and whatnot. But um, I've gone through the whole bottom end here and made sure everything's good and just fitted new big end shells. It's got a new timing side bush and uh, drive side main bearings, so on, sludge trap clean, etc, etc. And um, I have actually shown this bottom end before with the cases bolted and clamped together, um, minus the conrods and big ends, and I'd already set the shimming for the end float on it, but um, it's always nice to check after you've applied the uh, gasket compound to the joint faces and bolted everything up together tightly which is what I've done now so we'll just zoom in on the clock a bit and hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate we should have one and a half thousandths of an inch of crankshaft end float um, we go from naught to ten thousandths of an inch there on a gauge I hope we're picking it up well enough for people to see it here we go I'm levering it as usual through the um, the access hole you get when you take the sump plate off the bottom you get the square hole and I'm using a big strong screwdriver to lever up against the centre flywheel on the crank here we go one and a half thousandths of an inch I make that so like I said that's all bolted together. Just zoom out a little now. So we've got the uh, crankshaft in there all complete with the conrods and new big ends and everything on it. And obviously I can put my thumb in here and turn the crank freely. So that's good. That's ready for me to carry on next. I'll fit the pistons and um, Aim to fit the cylinder barrels and that one will be largely uh, my part of the work at least done. Uh, if you want to take a quick look there, there's the one I was working on. The replacement um, for the blown up engine that had the great big hole in the front of it. I used what I could from that one and a donor engine to come up with this. Obviously a few new parts as well, including conrods. Um, and they're supposedly a new and superior um, item to the originals anyway so that one's ready to go home this one's not far off and when that one's done I've got another complete A65 engine to strip down and go over because apparently there was an oil tap fitted to the oil tank and uh, a relatively new owner of the machine who wasn't used to it forgot to open the oil tap ran it and uh, now it's in my workshop awaiting a strip down more on that soon